Thank you! This is perfect! I really appreciate your help with this. I have a lot of great ideas, but I don't always have the right skills to make them happen. Just the same, I do appreciate it. You know, this has me thinking. I could eventually add a whole snack bar or even a restaurant in here someday. I have to expand the whole game center first, of course. Maybe even add some live entertainment. I could hire a magician and do children's parties. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, I once saw a mechanical band made of spare parts and electronics in Atara. Boy, that would be something if I could get one of those. If I decorated the robot band to look like friendly animals dressed like people, the kids would go nuts. Of course, I'd want to run it by Owen as a professional courtesy. Oh. Maybe he'd be interested in being partners. Now that would be something, wouldn't it? Imagine what I could do with the kind of dough he's got in his pockets. Listen to me. Dreaming impossible dreams. Impossible for now, anyway. One step at a time, right? Expanding to offer a few snacks is a good start. Not exactly competing with Owen Saloon, but maybe it'll keep my customers here a little longer before they head to his place for a real meal. You're always so helpful and kind. I think we've got a lot in common. Always working, always trying to better ourselves and grow our business. Doesn't leave much time for leisure or friendship, does it? 
If you could carve out some time from your busy schedule tomorrow evening, I think I could too. Care to meet me at the Blue Moon for dinner and a nice long chat? Terrific! I'll see you there tomorrow at 6 p.m. I was at work and I heard someone come in because my house is next door and I'm glad it's you and not someone else. Whoa, you really pulled all the stops out on this one. Books, rocks, heck, you could just put about anything in there. Let me just collect all my rocks here and we can take this bad boy for a test display. Cool, say, do you want to stick around for a bit? I mean, maybe you could help me decide which rocks to put where. All right, cool. Let me just put on some tunes to set the mood. So, the short of it is, I like to organize the rocks into three categories. High, mid, and low tier. The mid tier represents the one I think are all right, and definitely deserve a seat at the table, or a rock shelf. And low tier, well, those rocks I'm not a super fan of, but I'm sure other people like. Let's start with the top. First we got onyx, painite, zinc, and then this one. I don't know what it is. Onyx is dark and mysterious. It's pretty shiny, reflects light, makes you kind of wonder about the universe. Next is painite. Despite the name, it's really got nothing to do with pain. It's just a nice red rock. I've only ever found one before. She said it's super rare, maybe the only one in the world. So I guess you could say this rock is unique. Then there's zinc. Zinc is really useful. It's found in the wirings of our telegraphs, street lamp posts. Why, even the firing pin in our Civil Corps pistols are made of zinc. I'd hate to live in a world without zinc. Last but not least is this one. I, uh, well, I had some stuff to say about the other ones, but not this one. Oh well. Ready to choose your favorite? And hey, in case you didn't think the stakes were high enough, despite it already being in high tier, why don't we also choose the rock that makes us think of each other? I'll go first. I choose Painite because it's the best rock and you're the best rock. You seem pretty situated, but yeah, you're welcome. Okay, now you go. You think I'm as mysterious as Onyx? I don't know. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. Heck, I'll give you better responses than a book ever could. Books can't talk. Nice. They look good up here, high and mighty, wondering what the peasant rocks are up to. Sorry, that was out of line. All rocks are great. Next is mid-tier. We have sulfur, selenite, and coal. Sulfur is toxic. I just like the way it looks. It's slightly toxic to touch, but definitely don't lick this one. It would make you pretty sick. Well, Captain licked it once and got sick. Guess it hasn't been tested on humans yet. I just wouldn't. Next is selenite. Some people call it selenite rose. Couldn't really recommend licking it either. I mean, maybe once or twice is fine. It's pretty much just salt. It'll dissolve if you lick it too much. Then you've got nothing, except maybe a tummy ache. 
Ah, now you've gone and done it. We've all been there. Last, but again, not least, is coal. I place coal in the mid-tier because I just kind of like it. I mean, it is kind of an ugly chunk of gunk, only good for being used up, and then when it is, it harms the environment. But on the plus side, it's coal. I'm all picked out, I think. You're gonna have to fly solo from here on out, I think. Which one makes you think of me? Yes, salt. Nature's candy. I'm honored that you would even think to associate me with one of the world's most diligent and memorable condiments. Maybe one day I can work my way up to catch you. The deputy of condiments. All right, whew. Finally, we're about ready to wrap things up with loads here. Last and least. Need a minute, or are you ready? Yeah, well, it's pretty much all I do. You'd know a lot about rocks too, if you were me. Alright, final tier. These are what a lot of what people call regular rocks. Granite, sandstone, marble. Some of them have bits of quartz in them that sparkle in the sunlight. Some of them are quartz. When it comes to squeaking into bottom tier, the main thing I look for here is hustle. What shape is the rock? Does it look like it's a hard worker? Does it look like it started from the bottom and now it's trying to get into the bottom tier? This piece of granite to me looks like a fluffy cloud. The fact that such a hard, sturdy piece of rock could be so fluffy and cute makes me think I can be whatever I want to be. This sandstone, the fact that it's called a sandstone and not a sand rock despite its location, I can't help but admire its rebellious spirit. This quartz, there are many others like it, but this one's mine. It's the most common crystal in the world, Tch, if you don't count feldspar. In some places, it's see-through. In other places, it's milky and not so see-through. Is it hiding secrets? Is it transparent about other things? When light passes through, it creates a rainbow. Even though it's common, its shape is unique, the same way every snowflake is unique. And when it wants to, it can create an amazing display of color. Like, uh, like, uh, well, like just about any crystal, really. That's why quartz is bottom tier. So now I ask, which of these do you think represents us, sorry. I keep changing the rules of this game and stuff. I kind of just made it up on the spot. Need to work out the bugs. So yeah, which one is us? Whoa, you think we're rebels? Maybe you are, but I need to step up my game. I'll start being more rebellious first thing tomorrow morning, if I can get justice to give me the day off. Wow, there you have it. That took a lot longer than I expected the results speak for themselves. This is probably the best display I've ever seen. Thanks for helping me. Feel free to come and check out the rocks anytime. Doors always open. See ya. I guess just start off with an introduction. Talk a little about yourself, whatever comes to mind. Um, I'm Trudy. I've lived in Sandrock my whole life. I was a as a citizen. I've watched Sandrock dwindle and nearly shrivel up. So now it's my job, no, my duty, to keep this place alive which I couldn't do without the help of all my lovely friends and colleagues, of course. Good, yeah, that's good stuff. We can use that. All right, let's start with the questions. A lot of outsiders find the Sandrock mindset hard to understand. As you said, Sandrock is dwindling, but it seems like all of you still have the capacity to pick up and move somewhere more prosperous. Why not do that? Why stay in this town? Oh, wow. <laughs> Gosh, that's... that's a complicated question to answer. Well, try to keep it compact. You know how readers can be. No attention span these days. Uh, all right. Well, simply put, this place means something to us. For 
people like me, it's been a part of our lives since childhood. Everything we've ever experienced happened all around this oasis. We do this for Martel, for Rhonda, Theodore, all the people we lost here. The people who loved this place no matter what. If we let Sandrock disappear, we let their memories fade with it and allow their sacrifice to be <sighs> meaningless. I won't let that happen. Oh, sorry, was that too long? Maybe I can uh, rephrase that. No, uh, I just... That was good. We can use that. Next question. What if you run out of water? That's a good question. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. If you like this, like, comment, subscribe for more, or catch me live on my Twitch.